must say, class, that this chalk drawing is a lovely surprise. Thank you all very much. Franklin did the drawing of you, Mr. Owl. And a fine likeness it is, Snail. Thanks for being such a great teacher. Yeah, we're all kind of sad the school year's over. Right, guys? <laughs> Woohoo! School's out! <laughs> Last one of the bus is a rotten egg! Yahoo! Let's go! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> one moment, please. Everyone have a wonderful summer. You too, Mr. Owl. See ya! Mr. Owl. Goodbye, you two. Just think, Snail. A whole summer to do nothing. have to cool them off. <sighs> I officially declare our annual end of summer barbecue a success. I can't believe summer's over. Yeah, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> That's, I didn't do anything? Won't you be glad to go back to school tomorrow? Uh-huh. What are you doing tomorrow, Harriet? Play with Beatrice. But Bear told me she starts nursery school tomorrow. Beatrice go to school? <gasps> me too! Uh-oh. Sorry, Harriet, but you're not old enough to start school yet. <clears throat> Beatrice can go because she's a year older than you. That means you can go to school next year. Yeah, you're lucky. You get to stay home and play all day. Not lucky! Wanna go school! Sounds like bedtime for tired little turtles. Not tired. Not little either. <laughs> Poor Harriet. Sorry, Mom. I thought she knew. She does, Franklin. But she might not understand yet. Want some help? I'll clean up. Why don't you help your father put Harriet to bed? Okay. <laughs> It's okay, Harriet. Sad. Uh -huh. 
look what I found. Blue Blanky used to help me. Maybe he can help you too. You can keep it if you'd like. I'm getting too old for it anyway. What do you say, Harriet? Thank you, Franklin. Good night, sweetie. Good night. was a very nice thing you did for your sister, Franklin. I think she needs my blanket more than I do. Besides, I still have Sam. Ready for school tomorrow, I see. What's this? Did you do this funny drawing? Uh-huh. It's a pencil box puppet. I'll show you. Neat, neat pencils. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use it for show and tell next time we have it. Good idea. Well, off to bed now. You have a big day tomorrow. Okay, Dad. Good night, son. Good night. Good night, Sam. You too, Goldie. all the voices. I hope you have a spelling bee. That's always fun. Yeah, especially when you're the best speller in the class. Oh, thanks, Fox. I know what I'm looking forward to. My dad packs the best lunches in the world. <clears throat> what about you, Franklin? I'm looking forward to our team beating Fox's team in soccer. Again? Oh, yeah? This year will be different. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be glad to see Mr. Owl again. Uh-huh. Me too. Hmm. Ten after nine. I wonder where Mr. Owl is. Everybody knows he's never late for class, especially on the first day. Then... Where could he be? <gasps> that sounds like a motor scooter. <gasps> Who's that? It sure isn't Mr. Owl. Day, class. Sorry I'm late. Just found out this morning and had to make it in from the next town over. My name is Miss Koala. What have you done with Mr. Owl? Ah, oh, long me down. You're wondering what's happened. Mr. Owl got called away last night on a family matter. But when will he be back? Soon enough, I'm sure. Until then, I'll be your substitute teacher. What you doing? We're tidying up the garden. Soon we'll put it to bed for the winter. Is it sleepy? <laughs> you could say that. It's worked hard all summer and now it needs to rest. Why don't you help us? Uh-uh. 
Wanna play with Beatrice? Beatrice can't come over, Harriet. She starts school today, remember? Then who play with me? We can, after our chores. No! What kid? Now then, it shouldn't be too hard to guess all your names. You must be Beaver, Bear, Turtle. <laughs> My name's Franklin, not Turtle. Dinkum? I'm sorry, Franklin. Any other surprises? Then let's get to it. According to Mr. Owl's schedule, you usually have science this morning. But this isn't a usual morning, is it? I'll say. Since this is your first day back, what say we do something a little different? Come on, class. Put on your thinking caps. What can we do instead? What about show and tell? I've got something to show and tell about. Excellent idea. Anyone else bring something? Tell you what, let's wait till tomorrow. That'll give everyone a chance. Uh, oh, oh! How about a spelling bee, Miss Koala? Good one, Beaver. But first, a quick review. Ah, this is a real beauty. And I bet that's Mr. Owl. We drew it for him way back on the last day of school. So you won't mind if I erase it then? You can't. It's Mr. Owl's. But I need the blackboard. Mr. Owl would too if he were here. But he's not here. I know. You can do a welcome back drawing for him when he returns. That sounds like a good solution. Yeah. I guess. <sighs> okay. Right then. Let's get to it. Bye, Mr. Owl. Thank you, Harriet. I'm glad you decided to help. Hello, you two. I haven't seen you all summer. How have you been? Busy as beavers. <laughs> and you? Slow as turtles. <laughs> We're behind in our yard work. You must be beaver's brother, Kit. He's a bit out of sorts. His sister went back to school today. Well, maybe you'd like to play with Harriet. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Harriet. We're on our way to see Dr. Bear. Check ye up. Maybe some other time, then. Okay. That sounds like a fine idea. Give us a ring sometime. Come on, Kit. We'd best be off. Say hello to Dr. Bear for us. We will. Bye. Don't. Um, D-O-N-T. Don't? Sorry, Goose. Good try, though. Beaver? Don't. D-O-N apostrophe T. Don't. Well done, Beaver. I switched to this year's spella and still couldn't stump you. That's because I studied it at home this summer, Miss Koala. Well, congratulations to everyone on an excellent match. You're a regular bunch of whiz kids. Let's see. You usually have math now, but maybe we should continue with our spelling. Mm, but I like math. You do? The way Mr. Owl teaches it. Franklin. Eyes front, please. Now, does anyone know what don't is short for? I do, Miss Koala. Beaver? It's short for do not. That's right. Good on ya. Psst, bear. Good on ya, Beaver. <laughs> oh. 
Would you mind sharing your joke with the rest of us, Bear? Uh, uh, Bear didn't do anything, Miss Koala. I made him laugh with this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's very clever, Franklin. But I've warned you once now. Swap places with Skunk, please. But I always sit with Bear and Snail. Franklin? And I'll take this for safekeeping. Does anyone know what a dinkum is? Miss Koala sure talks funny. That's because she's from Australia. Everybody knows koalas come from Australia. I didn't. Well, wherever she's from, she gives way too much homework. Hmm. I think she's nice. What do you think, Franklin? It wasn't fair that Miss Koala made me change seats. She gave you your old seat back after recess. Mr. Owl wouldn't have made me move in the first place. That's true. School sure is different with Miss Koala. I'll say. I hope Mr. Owl comes back soon. <laughs> This is quite a harvest. All that work this summer really paid off. Your mother told me about your new teacher, Franklin. What's she like? Uh, she's okay, I guess. Only... Bear isn't sure he likes her. He said Miss Koala isn't as nice as Mr. Owl. He did. She made me sit across the room from him, and he didn't like it one bit. Why did she do that? You must have done something. Well, I was kind of fooling around, and I sort of made Bear laugh out loud. Then she did have a good reason. Maybe, but she's still not as nice as Mr. Owl. At least that's what Bear thinks. Does Bear know anything about Miss Koala? Just that she's from Australia, and she's kind of weird. Maybe if Bear got to know Miss Koala, he might not think she's so weird. We've got a book about Australia. Why don't you lend it to him? It's show and tell tomorrow. I could bring it in for that, I guess. What about your pencil box puppet? Miss Koala took that for safekeeping. It sounds like you and Bear had a bad day. That's for sure. Well, this should do it for today. Let's head in and... Harriet, put down the caterpillar. Good girl. You don't want to spoil your supper. Black fly casserole. And shoe fly pie for dessert. Oh boy, shoe fly pie. Race you back to the house. Shoe fly, shoe fly. <laughs> <laughs> now, class, are there any questions before we start show and tell? Snail? Mr. Owl isn't coming back today, is he? No, Snail. I don't think so. Bear? Will he be here tomorrow? Sorry, Bear. I don't know when he'll be back. Show and tell was your idea, Franklin. Would you like to go first? This book's about Australia. It's got pictures and everything. You're from Australia, Miss Koala. That's right, from down under. Down under? <laughs> Let me show you. We're up here. In Australia is way down here, down under. It sure is far away. Yes, it is. Do you ever get homesick, Miss Koala? Yes, Franklin, all the time. I do miss my mates. Oh, take a gander at this. This bloke reminds me of my old swim coach, Mr. Platypus. He kind of looks like Beaver. 
but with a beak, like me. Australia looks like a weird place. <laughs> Not weird, Snail. Just different. Tell us more, Miss Koala. Dinkum? Okay, what do you want to know? Well, first, what does Dinkum mean? <laughs> it means really and fair dinkum is absolutely. Oh, dinkum? Fair dinkum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. This is a boomerang. It was my favourite toy when I was your age. Still is. Throw it and it comes right back to you like magic. Don't just tell us. Show us! OK, but after we see what the rest of you brought in, who wants to go next? I do. I will. One, two, three! <laughs> so, Super Turtle Girl, what'll we do today? Super Turtle Girl wanna... play at Beatrice's house. Beatrice won't be home. She's at school today. In school every day? No, not every day. She doesn't have to go on weekends. You can play with her on Saturday. Saturday? But what I do till then? Why don't I give Mrs. Beaver a call? We can meet at the playground. And play with Kit? If you like. Huh. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Now then, first you have to find which way the breeze is blowing. It's important that you throw your boomerang into the wind. Stand back. to give it a whirl. I will. It's not coming back, Beaver. Yeah, it's going way wide. I got it. Back, back. Okay, Snell. Uh -huh. Whoa! Nice catch! A real beauty! You're quite a whiz kid, Franklin. <laughs> wow! Throwing a boomerang's ever fun! Always cheers me up. Guess it reminds me of home. What else do you like to do, Miss Koala? Hmm, let's see. I like to sing, read mysteries, ride my scooter. Oh, and play soccer. You play soccer? We love soccer. Well, Jim is supposed to be tomorrow, but let's say we do something a little different. There! Oops! Sorry, Miss Koala. That's okay, Bear. Good on you. Just remember, kick the ball with the inside of your foot, not your toe. You'll have more control that way. OK, let's get back to class. Wow, did you see that pass? Mr. Owl sure can't kick a ball like Miss Koala. Yeah, but Mr. Owl's good at other things, Beaver. I know that. I just meant... Franklin, could you collect those jerseys for me, please? OK. We'll see you back inside, Franklin. <sighs> that catch you made earlier was a real beauty. Pick me boomerang right out of the air. Ever wanted to be a goalie, Franklin? You mean for soccer? I never really thought about it. Goose and skunk are usually in goal. I always play out. Besides, 
I'm not sure how good I'd be. Well, you'll never know if you don't try. Mom, when Kit get here? I'm sure they'll be along soon. It's not the same playing with your mom, is it? Good morning. Oh, sorry we're late. Kit! Kit, come on, let's slide. Is that ladder too high for you, Kit? Would you like a lift? Yes, please. Then up you go. <laughs> hey! Come on, you can do it. Uh. Go, Kit! It's okay, Harriet. Let him take his time. Still in my way. <laughs> Want some help? Beep, beep! Harriet! <gasps> <laughs> Are you all right? No, got a boo boo. Oh, that's quite a scrape. Is Kid okay? I think he's just startled. We're very sorry, Mrs. Beaver. I said beep, beep. These things happen. Want to go home, Mama? We need to get home, too, and look after that scrape. I'll call you later, Mrs. Beaver. Talk to you then. <laughs> Bye. Good on you, Franklin. One moment, please, class. I was very impressed with everyone's soccer skills today. You were all such whiz kids out there. And that got me thinking. Uh-oh. I have a mate in Bayside who coaches his school soccer team. Why don't we form our own school team? And then we can play against them. Yeah. All yeah. right. Why can't we just play against each other? We always do that, Franklin. Yeah, this'll be different. If we're gonna be a team, we need a name. Like the Woodland something or others. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> I know. You're always calling us Whiz Kids, Miss Koala. How about that for a name? The Woodland Whiz Kids. That's got a nice ring to it. And you can be our coach, Miss Koala. I'd be honored, Snail. I'll talk to my mate then. Good night, class. The Woodland Whiz Kids. Cool. I like that name. Franklin, I meant to give this back to you yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry, too. About yesterday, I mean. Apology accepted. Mmm, Brussels sprouts. Eat up now, Harriet. How did things go with Miss Koala today, Franklin? She showed us how to throw a boomerang for show and tell. And then she played soccer with us. So Bear likes her now? Hmm, I guess. Except now she wants to form a soccer team and play against kids from other schools. That sounds like fun. But what if the other team's better than us? What if we lose? Both those things could happen. She even asked me about being a goalie. I always play out. Miss Kowal is nice, but why does she have to do things so different? She wants to change everything. Change can be good, Franklin. Without it, things would be pretty boring. 
Miss Koala sure isn't boring. I still miss Mr. Owl, though. I'll bet he misses you, too. Harriet? Did you finish your Brussels sprouts already? Where are they? Yuck. Uh-huh. Yuck. <laughs> One time I hid my Brussels sprouts in blue blankie too, Harriet. Looks like a love of Brussels sprouts runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the very first practice of the Woodland Whiz Kids. Let's start with a quick warm-up game, shall we? Ooh, ooh, Coach Koala! Yes, Goose? Um, I'd like to play out this game. As a forward, I mean. You what? But you always play in net. I've stopped lots of goals, but I've never actually scored one. I'd like to try something different for a change. I think that's an excellent idea, Goose. Good on you. Thanks, Coach. So then, who'd like to take her place? Come on. It's just for this practice. I will. Are you sure, Franklin? No, but I'll give it a try. I'll go in the other goal, okay? Then Skunk can play out too, if she wants. Thanks. Perfect. Take your positions, goalies. And I'll pick the teams. Franklin! Good luck! You too, Bear. It's so nice of you to drop by. Harriet insisted on it. Is it really an ankle sprain? Dr. Bear said it's only a slight one. Sorry I hurt you, Kit. I got hurt, too. See? Mama, can we go out and play? Sorry, kid. Dr. Bear said not for a few days. You have to rest your ankle. But I want to go out. You sad, kid? Yes. Maybe Blue Blinky can help. All you gotta do is hug it. Oh, <laughs> that's very sweet of you, Harriet. Kit can keep it till he's better. Well, you be sure to come back and get it if you need it. It looks like Blue Blanky's working already. Three less than me. And look how many you stopped. It was pretty fun. Goose played great, too. Did you see me? I almost scored twice. It's fun playing out. I want to stay a forward. Why don't you play goal for the Whiz Kids, Franklin? Good yeah. idea. Well, it'll be different. That's the spirit. Right, team. We've got a week till our big game. Let's get to work.
Now, I know you're all excited about our first game this afternoon, but I have even more exciting news. Guess who's back tomorrow? Mr. L. That's good, isn't it? Does that mean you won't be our teacher anymore? I'm a replacement teacher, remember? I'm going to another school that needs me. Tell you what, why don't you spend part of the morning making a welcome back drawing for Mr. Owl? Thanks, Miss Koala. Hello! Anyone home? Hello! Oh. You all better, Kit? Uh-huh. Me too. Look. Thank you, Arya. Wanna play now? Okay, but what? Tag. You're it! <laughs> <laughs> First, I couldn't wait for Mr. Owl to come back. Now I'm sad to see Miss Koala leave. Me too, I'll say. We just have to win this game as a going away present for Coach. That might not be so easy, guys. Those Bayside Bandits look really good. Hooroo, team! I see you found your new jerseys. Thanks, Coach. Game starting. Get out there and have some fun, whiz kids. Yeah! Yay, whiz kids! Let's go! And the first game begins between the Woodland Whiz Kids and the Bayside Bandits. Rabbit. He passes the bear. Open net, but he hits the post. Ah! Get up, bear. Ooh. Franklin makes the save. Yay! The ball bounces to Beaver. Under some pressure now, she passes to Go. One and it's one to nothing. That's okay, Beaver. Just don't do it again. Of course I won't do it. Oh, oh! Thanks, Coach! Careful, Beaver. Franklin, there's always a goal on a penalty kick. A keeper can make the stop, Beaver, if they keep their wits about them. Watch his eyes, Franklin. They'll tell you where he's gonna shoot. Okay. And whatever happens, you played a great game. Franklin? I knew 
you could do it. We're only down by one, right, guys? Right. right. The Whiz Kids trailed by one with minutes remaining in the game. Skunk with the ball. Passes to Bear, but he hits the post. Shoot, Goose. Oh. Come on, Goose. You can do it. Oh. Goose. Um. Shoot. 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 Uh. And the West Kid scores. I, I scored. I, I scored a goal. That's all she wrote, folks. And the game ends in a three-three tie. Oh dear. Why the long faces, you lot? That was a brilliant game. Yeah, but we wanted to win. As your going away present. Guess we aren't such whiz kids after all. Sorry, Coach. No need to apologize. You played a game to be proud of. Good on you. That's right. I stopped a penalty kick, Goose got her first goal, and we have our own school team. Thanks to you, Coach. Too bad you have to leave, huh? Yeah, we're sure going to miss you. Oh, I'm going to miss you too. You'll always be whiz kids in my book. But I'm not gone for good. I'll come back to visit when I can. Excuse me, but who's going to be our coach now? I have an idea about that. That's you, Mr. Owl, back at Woodland School. And we're all waving goodbye to Miss Koala. <laughs> what a wonderful welcome back and going away present, class. Miss Koala liked it, too. I'm sorry I didn't get to meet her and that I missed your first game. Speaking of which, Miss Koala asked us to give you this. A book about soccer? She thought you could be our new coach, Mr. Owl. Me? A soccer coach? <laughs> well, I don't know, class. I, I've never done anything like that before. But you won't know unless you try, Mr. Owl. <laughs> Good point. Good point. All right. I'll be your new coach. Yay, coach! Yeah, Yay, Mr. Owl! Good on you, Mr. Owl. Well, it looks like I'll be going back to school, too. Speaking of which, we'd best get to work. Does anyone mind if I... I'll do it for you, Mr. Owl. Why, thank you, Franklin. Goodbye, Miss Koala. 